and welcome to Toto TCG. You're here with me, Matthew, and we're back here with the Sword and Shield pre-release. It is number one. And we've got our build and battle kit right in front of us here. We've cut open into the plastic to give us that advantage, and that took me quite some time. Let's just put it that way. Um, so, let's see which promo we got. Oh, it looks like the white one. It is the Chinchino promo. Which is basically, it's got the ability that basically Zoroark had. It's just reworded slightly. But a pretty nice, colourful uh, Chinchina right there. Very, very cool. So we've got our four packs as well. They're all different. And we've got that nice Zacian on the front there. Probably followed by a Zamazenta maybe somewhere on the back. Or not. Okay. All the love for Zacian then. Uh, so putting that all back together there. Pop that to the side. Uh, we can have a little look at our promo, which of course does include the code, and the code will give you one of the promos. It's not a f it's not always the one that you get, which is pretty sneaky. Um, so uh, yeah, definitely that. So we've got that code there. Um, love in the hollow. I've said this several times. Love the hollow artwork on this. There's a snom. We've got an evolution en essence. We've got a great ball. We've got hop. Professor's Research, we have got ourselves a two, two, two line of the Sobel to Inteleon. There's one Minchino there, which will help get our Chinchino. There's a Quick Ball, another Professor's Research. Uh, we've got Armani, and then we have a three, two, two Obstagoon line right there. Um, so that was a very, very interesting card indeed. Loved playing that, getting those damage counters down. And then uh, finishing up with some bits and pieces. That was a really, really nice card. If you pull that, definitely hold on to them. Definitely. So put all them in order. All the trainers, I believe, went in. Uh, the Schnom didn't go in because we didn't end up getting the Frost Moth. But I'm guessing that's... Uh, I don't know what I was doing there. <laughs> go for the Snom. Put it in a sleeve. Uh, but the Chinchina goes into a sleeve straight away. Uh, with the Minchino as well. Probably have all of that going into the deck. I'm pretty sure nothing changed there. Um, but we will be having that deck profiling tomorrow. So we can definitely go through what we built from what we received. So plopping all that on the top. Just so we uh, can get all that uh, nicely put away. There over there. And finally we can move on to the four packs here. We've got the Lapras one coming up first. How can we do with Lapras? <coughs> So let's uh, see, we got a white code on our first one, and we'll grab our four, it's still four, we get that energy, and it is a nice new comet looking energy, we'll have a little bit of an up close look at that in a bit. We've got an energy search, there's another quick ball, we got a Garvantula, uh, we've got the Sizzlipede, Wooloo, Grookey, Sobble, Rhyhorn, And we're stopping on the right horn. Four. Hey, okay, we got a Kufant as the. I think it's Kufant. Kufant? I don't know. But there's a Zamazenta V. Let's get onto that more um, than the spelling of a uh, an elephant. Zamazenta V. Um, I got shield myself, so, uh, you know, nice to be uh, receiving that. Another. It's a, another? It's a green code, sorry, should I say? Four to the front. We've got a lightning to start with. Followed by a Corvusquire, Thwacky, Pokemon Catcher, Baltoy, Chinchu, Krabby, Minchino. We've got a Galarian Ponyta, Goldeen Reverse, and a Dreadnor as our rare. <clears throat> Hoping they'll make a V card of Dreadnor very, very soon. Uh, maybe in the next set. Keeping my fingers crossed for that. Or a Krabby. I would like that. like to see uh, a V Max of that. Take the sleeve. Take the sleeve. Take the uh, the code out there. It's another green. So four to the front again. And we've got ourselves a fighting energy. Pokey Gear 3.0. Sudowoodo. Eldegoss. Scorbunny. Sinisty. Maractus. Pikachu. Galarian Meowth. Volpix Reverse. And a Roserade as our rare. Very cool. Last pack, and it's got the Snorlax on the front. Let's see how we can do in our last pack here. Can we maybe go for a like, hollow or something? No, we can't. One white code coming up there. Four to the front. 
and we got ourselves a fire energy we got a kingler hyper potion citrus berry we got mudbray hoot hoot pin uh, we got volpix nicket reverse vitality band and a mushana as our rare so you do end up with a very very nice amount of trainers so i think i was left with maybe about 15 to 20 trainers to think about putting in um in which i'm going through now uh, you can see there you know the uncommon slot definitely trainer orientated some of the time it was obviously pokemon but you'd at least probably have maybe one you know trainer in each which was really really cool I mean, I'm able to get some quick balls as well. Uh, I, I ended up getting quite a few, if not maybe a, a full set. So that's pretty cool. So we can sleeve up that Zamazenta right there. And um, we're all pretty much set to uh, sort out our deck now with everything. There's a bit of an up-close look at that Zamazenta. We will check that out tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So apart from that, I'm going to leave it for this part. And let's move on over and see what we got for the prize packs. Okay, so here we are, and we are back now from the pre-release. Um, so very, very interesting day. Uh, we started off, it was nice, bright, sunny. Uh, looked to be a great day outside, uh, but we're not a, a weatherman, even though it did rain afterwards. However, it definitely was raining uh, indoors uh, with the pools, let's just put it that way, um, as you saw with ours. Um, I will mention that I'm pretty sure that at least everyone on, like, for that day, with all of their boxes, at least had one hollow. Now, I mean, sometimes, I mean, <laughs> if you guys have been seeing uh, all the videos that I previously put out for pre-release boxes, we've had some rough luck um, every now and again. So uh, there was people pulling, you know, maybe one or two hollows. Um, there was others that were having an amazing time. They were getting full arts, they were getting V cards, they were getting hollows, all in their one box. Crazy stuff. And then, of course, we do have the three prize packs, which we do have in front of us right here. Um, probably my favourite uh, pack art is definitely going to be Lapras there. Um, I do have to say Snorlax is very much up there. And then I probably have to say this is a joint between these two, because uh, I do like uh, Zamazenta, but I think Zashian looks pretty dashing in his pack. Um, but yeah, we do have our three there, which we will be getting into. Did want to show off the card that I will be definitely hunting a lot of. Um, now I've got this one. I'm looking to get a playset of four, not to make a deck, but just because I just think this card looks so cool. And this rarity especially. So, we've got this. It's Cramorant V, and this is the full art. So we've basically got a normal artwork, and we've also got the full art. And this is one of them. Now, we didn't pull this. This isn't something I pulled. This is something I bought off somebody. I just said, look, I really, well, basically, I need this. I would love to, you know, get four. I'm pretty sure I told everyone. And someone managed to pull it. Um, but it is beautiful. I mean, you can see it looks insane. Um, and unlike before with our GXs and everything, this doesn't focus. Obviously, this is a colourless Pokemon. The background is not looking colourless. It's very exciting. It's very colourful. You can see how much it shines, especially with, uh, you know, all of this. There is a bit of embossing as well to uh, the cards as well. Uh, a lot of people did pull some rainbow rares, some trainers. Trainers are now rainbow rares as well. No gold cards. Uh, no, actually, there was. There was a, um, I think there's an air balloon in the set. Someone got a gold card of that. So pretty cool. Um, but yeah, Cramorant V Full Art. That is the card I'm going to be hunting. Uh, so uh, I'll be keeping an eye out for this. Um, so I'll pull up that to the back there. It's not so much a pull for the packs here, but just something I wanted to show off. So let's have a little look and see how we'll do. Let's put Zamazenta to the back there. We did manage to pull, of course, one uh, V, which was Zamazenta. So uh, we'll leave that to last. So let's see how we do with our Lapras pack here. Um, we do continue with the code card tradition, so I may as well just show it. We do have a white with this. Um, so uh, let's have a little look at the energies as well. Um, oh, now bearing in mind, no fairy types and there's no dragon types in this set, but fairy has been completely removed. Uh, so we'll take those four, pop them to the front. We'll say grass, it is fighting, and you'll see that the uh, the energy has changed as well. I've got this, not, it's almost like a, a fiery aspect or like a comet sort of being thrown into your face with the energy. So it looks pretty cool. So we've got that fighting energy. We've got heat more. We've got a metal saucer. This is basically a uh, aqua patch, but for metal, uh, if that describes it for you. 
Oh, we got a quick ball. That's pretty good. That's our third one now, so that's good to see. Galarian Meowth, Score Bunny. We've got a Sinistee. We've got a Maractus. Someone was playing this. They were having an amazing time with Powerful Needles. That was a very interesting move. We've got a Pikachu. That's not bad. We've got a... That's two quick balls, one pack. Um, and we've also got a white coat, so what have we got underneath? Um, so, yeah, we got the reverse quick ball, that's pretty cool, followed up by, <laughs> we got the Rillaboom Hollow. So that's a nice extra little pull there. Uh, so that is a pre-release promo, this this exact one. Uh, I believe there's two different types of, like, Rillaboom, Cinderaces, and Inteleons um, within these sets. Some of them are uh, hollows, some of them aren't. But uh, we do get this. This is an awesome card as well. Very, very good. Uh, a lot of people were playing this. Uh, I think the person who was playing this, I think they managed to get third place. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Rillaboom Hollow anyway. Moving on to our Zashian pack now. Surely we won't run into another quick ball, you know. We've, we've just had that one. Uh, let's have a little look. It is a green. May as well not hide that. Uh, four to the front on this one. We'll go Water. It is Psychic. So, we've got that Psychic Energy, Pokemon Center Lady, Energy Retrieval, we've got Theraphorn, Blipbug, Rhyhorn, Minchino, Chinchu, Krogunk, oh nice, we've got a Reverse Lapras, which is a rare, and an Orbital. Very, very cool. One of the new ones. Very, very cool. Pop that to the side. Last pack being Zamazenta. Are we just on for a hollow with our prize packs, or do we have maybe something else waiting for us on the, the uh, side? Looks as if we do. That's two whites. Not bad. Four to the front on this one. Shall we go with... Um, let's go with... Metal. No, it is fire. Okay. So we've got Fire Energy, Pokegear 3.0. We've got an Aurora Energy, Ferrothorn again. Silicobra. We've got Minchino, Vulpix. Muna, Roselia, Reverse, Corva Squire, and we got a Bolton Rare, and that's the Hollow as well. Love this new Hollow, really, really looks cool. You can see how the Hollow works. It makes the background, but not the Pokemon Hollow, which I love because it. I think it almost just makes it more three D, and the the way they've done it, I just love that effect. It's almost like a a pair of blinds, like opening and everything. Um, very, very cool. Someone had this and they were playing this uh, as well. Very, very cool. Very nice indeed. Pretty cool. Two hollows. I'll definitely take that. There we go. So nice two hollows. And they are, of course, two hollows for two new Pokemon in our Gen 8. So that is pretty good indeed. Very, very nice indeed. So we do have another pre-release coming up, so you do not have to worry. There's another one coming up uh, next Saturday as well. Uh, so we'll be uh, showing that off, but we will have a, I'm going to do a deck um, profile tomorrow, let you know how I actually got on, I won't spoil it in this video, uh, but let you know how I got on and what sort of deck we ended up building with the pulls that we had. Uh, it doesn't include Cramorant, unfortunately, but if we could squeeze this one in, I definitely would have. Um, but yeah, there we go. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, uh, and if you are if you've gone or you are going to pre-releases, let me know how you are doing with them and what your pulls. That type of stuff would be amazing to find out and I think a lot of other people will be very interested to find out what the pull rates are like. And for this set, it is looking very, very interesting. Something that I can't really sort of have a 100% guarantee that you're going to get the same in each box. So it's quite nice, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it for this uh, video. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for uh, the deck profile. So I'll see you then.